One day after the outbreak of hostilities, the Soviet writer and famous poet Vasily Ivanovich Lebedev Kumak composed beautiful lines into an amazing poem that later became a famous song. The wonderful composer and great conductor Alexander Alexandrov was immediately inspired to create a melody for the poem. Exactly one day later, the song was considered finished. On June 26, the Soviet Union's largest artistic ensemble, the Red Banner Ensemble, performed this composition to keep the spirits of the Red Army soldiers going to the front from the Belorusky railway station. The Holy War was not widely performed until the fall of 1941. The poem for the song was not perceived as a joyful cry but rather depressing. It spoke of how fighting the German horde gave no assurance that one could return home alive tomorrow. As soon as the German invaders were able to capture Kalinino, Kaluga and Rezev, it was decided that this song should pour forth daily from the Soviet radio. The Holy War song now played with new colors, gave hope of victory and raised the morale of the Red Army for the heavy fighting in Moscow and Stalingrad. When the war was over, the famous song could often be heard on the radio which was performed by the Red Banner Ensemble and frequent tours brought it even greater success. It was soon translated into Ukrainian, Hungarian, German and Polish. Surprisingly, May 27, 2007, the Red Banner Ensemble performed the Sacred Song at its headquarters in Brussels.